Hello world, it's Jake Weil from Wild Motorsport here with part two of B58 swapping my E36 track car. So today's update is really just showing progress. A lot of what we've done is just peeling away the layers of the onion that is the F chassis. Uh, this car has a lot of plastics, a lot of small structural pieces in it, and a lot of electronic devices. So we pulled the whole front clip off um, got a sense of some more of the cooling system and how that works. Uh, there's auxiliary pumps in here, like this one for example, that is for the water, air, uh, intercooler. Um, this is a belt driven uh, cooling system. We pulled the air conditioning compressor off and got that system removed. Uh, up top here, really just getting ready to pull the engine which we're gonna do here in an hour or two. Inside though you can kind of get a glimpse through this hole. Uh, we've started to remove a lot of the internals on this car or electrical internals on this car. So our intern AJ went to town on this thing this week, um, pulled out the dash, the crash structure, the HVAC system and has left um, the wiring harness fully intact, saved all the electronic devices, and I'll get on the other side of the car so we can get a better angle. And we'll get a glimpse. Door still opens, pretty good for a rollover. So, like I said, all the major structures have been removed inside, and we're just left with the harness uh, using our most precision instruments here. Um, here's the harness that goes behind the dash. A lot of it's connected to the body control module there in white. Uh, we're gonna keep all of that intact. Um, we're gonna try and remove it entirely from the car and we'll thin it once it's out. We've kept all of the plugs and connectors intact so we can identify what goes where. Even went ahead and pulled the fuel pump. We'll pull the harness for that. Let's see what we can use. If we can use all the components that were in here originally, the, com the computer will be happier and we can just focus on getting it running and then start focusing on lap times. Well, the motor's out, that wasn't too hard. It came out really easy. Uh, it's Obviously it's a manual, so the transmission's a lot smaller, but also as we talked about before, the, the V58 is uh, it's only at a 30 degree angle because it's based off the N57 diesel. It's not at a 60 degree angle like most BMW six cylinders are. Uh, and also being able to cut hoses makes it a lot easier. But uh, now that she's out, uh, the cooling system is a lot less intimidating than I thought it was. Uh, you know, just looking at it quick, you know, here's your heater core lines. Those will be looped. Um, what you got, this is uh, expansion tank hoses. Here's your primary upper radiator hose. Um, it had the, uh, the AC condenser was liquid cooled, so we can delete that. Um, then you have the heat exchanger lines. Um, we're gonna run at aftermarket uh, intake manifold, so we'll route new hoses for that. We're gonna do uh, aluminum Alibaba oil filter housing. Probably gonna buy an external oil cooler to replace the liquid um, oil cooler that's in there. Definitely gonna be a problem doing the mount. Uh, you know, these arms are so far back I know like Drift Headquarters just came out with some uh, B58 E36 arms, but I am gonna set the engine back. So I'm gonna figure out what kind of fabrication I'm gonna do there. Lots of acoustics on these new engines. Got uh, lots of uh, fireproof foam, whatnot. But pretty compact little engine, not having a air intercooler. This side, same. The motor mount arms away set back. Really big turbo. It's like a five inch, five inch turbo outlet for the uh, wastegate interrupt integration that's in there. On the top here, you can see the high pressure fuel pump. I thought we had a TU because I could see a 2023 stamp on it, but now that I can see the top of it, I can see it was just replaced. It's the standard Gen 1. So I have to put in the high pressure one. Uh, let's see, here's the starter down below. And then, um, what's the last thing? Oh yeah, um, oil pumps on these uh, Gen 1s, especially ones in the north, uh, they have plastic parts that fail in them. So we just ordered a, uh, a TU oil pump with all metal internals. So we'll be putting that one in too. And uh, that's about it. 
easy day, but uh, next step is I got to pull that wiring harness out. So thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. Bye.